a new way to keep track of your kids. And all you have to do is slap it on your child's wrist. But as KCCI's Vanessa Peng shows us, some experts and moms are wary of the technology. Vanessa's live at Banshell Park in Ames. That's right. Some experts say the bands may not actually make kids safer. Now, earlier today over here at Banshell Park, you know, it's the summertime. We saw lots of kids out here playing on the playground, and we did see some moms watching them. But sometimes you just cannot. And that's why many tech companies are coming out with these kid tracking bands that you can pick up at many area stores. You've seen the child leashes, but now there's a virtual leash on the market. I don't see a necessary. Thing to have, but maybe when they got older. More and more companies are coming out with kid tracking wristbands. The bands come equipped with GPS and Wi Fi so parents can pinpoint the exact location of their kids in real time. It's also a cell phone, and many come with other features like an automatic microphone that comes on if mom can't reach their child so the parent can listen into what's going on. <laughs> We asked some parents watching their kids play Duck Duck Goose at Banshell Park in Ames if they would ever buy one. It's a good idea for parents that really do need it. I mean, um, I understand if you have a child that just wanders off, I would definitely use it. But my children usually like to stay by my side. I would rather watch my children and not have something like that on all the time. Ray Hunkel's ex-wife bought his seven-year-old son one without talking to him about it first. Don't buy one. That's, that's the simple advice. Hunko happens to be an Iowa State Associate Professor of Education and specializes in youth and social media. I see it as, uh, as uh, companies marketing to parents' anxieties in a post-9-11 world. He says parents should worry more about communicating good safety practices rather than tracking. They are really not going to help keep your child any safer. If someone wants to do something to your child, they will. Now, LG Electronics just came out with a band last week called Kiz On, and AT&T has had one for quite a while called Philip. Now, that's the one you saw in our story today. By the way, Stacy, these bands cost anywhere from $100 to $200 and require a cell phone plan. Okay. Vanessa Pang, live in Ames. Thanks, Vanessa.